Big one. Big one. It's hung up. Not a bad one. Not a bad Matt Bass. They're eating red claws. Everyone we catch got a claw dad hanging out of his mouth. Big one. Oh. It's a good one. A real good one. You can't, when you get in these mats, you can't pull too hard. Anytime you get these big fish hooked up in this stuff, I got this piece here to show you guys. These fish are in this thick, thick mat, and you're dropping down in these little holes next to it and trying to pull these fish through all this stuff, and their mouth gets open and tangled up, and if you start pulling too hard, you're gonna lose almost every one of these big fish you hook. Now I wanna show you something really cool here. In these roots right here, you look at this crawdad claw. Now these claws have come off of a big crawdad and what happens is crawdad lives his whole life cycle in these mats. And they stay clipped into these mats with their claws just like that and that's how they stay in there. And then this guy comes along, all the options, all the options uh, punch skirt from Paycheck Baits comes along and it's exact same color as the crawdads that are hung in that grass. Now we just pulled up a clump of hyacinths and it had a couple crawdad claws hung in it from a big one taking it away. But I want you to know that that is dead on match of what they're eating right now in the Delta. So here's the deal. I mean, look, I'm pulling these shells out of this. I know this is a little fish. I just caught him punching. Look at these size of these claw shells and these claw shells slip off of these claws. You see him trying to choke that crawdad back down in there. You guys can see that. There's a crawdad in there that he's trying to choke back down and this claw just slipped off his shell. What that means is they're in the molting process. A lot of times on full moons, mainly on full moons, at the, you know, the biggest part of the full moon, when it's up early in the evening like it is, the crawdads are molting. They're out moving around on the banks at nighttime and they're up clipped onto the mats and the root systems. You know, from, from crawdads this size, you can tell that I pulled this out of his mouth. That's a medium sized craw and now he's got a pretty small sized craw right there in his mouth coming out. So, I mean, that's not a, a giant crawdad. So crawdads of every size and shape, from small, medium, and large. Whoops, we'll let this little guy go. Small, medium, and large crawdads. So what that's telling me, and I can show you right here on this claw that we've got, uh, if they're small, medium, and large crawdads coming out of the same type of mats, and you start to look on these shells and you notice how green and muddy and all these nooks and crannies of this shell, it's really brown and dirty and just almost just, it's all mud. That's because that fish has lived clipped up under with these claws and his bottom legs up under this root system in the mat, just locked on for his life, his whole life, since he was a little craw. And probably since he's hatched from his whole life cycle, from the little craw to the medium craw, and every molting phase, every couple moons, when they molt, they'll change size and they shed that shell like a snake sheds its skin and they'll go from medium to large and then these bigger large ones when they shed this big scale, uh, big skin, even the stripers and the catfish come in. Uh, lobsters do it a lot in the ocean and stripers eat a lot of lobster so you know I know when the stripers come in here they're rooting around for these molten crawdads and full moon dictates everything. Now I know moon phase, you guys know moon phase dictates a lot about your bass fishing day. Full moon also dictates the life cycle of everything that goes on in the water, not just bass, everything, especially what they eat. So remember, pay attention, is it a full moon? Uh, are the fish on the bottom? Are the crawdads on the bottom? Are they up on the top? Are they hung in these mats and living up in the mats? Are you holding it down or are you holding it up? All these questions can be answered by you paying attention. So I'm gonna give you a little insight into why uh, there's so many colored punch skirts. Everybody says, well man, can't you just get like six of them or, or do you have to have all the colors? Well, here's why we make all the colors. And I, and I want you guys to pay close attention to this. Now this crawdad claw, being as red as it is, matches all the options matches Bub's Money Craw because of the browns and the reds on top. So there's Bub's Money Craw, the answer to it. 
Here's the answer to all the options. And then when you get over here to these littler crawdads in the molting phase, see how orange they get? That's when you need a boat payment. And this boat payment, if you'll notice, is almost the same color oranges and browns as this claw. And then on the, on the top side, you know, you can really see it's kind of uh, between boat payment and Bugs Money Crawl. So there's 20 colors for a reason. You have to have these different colors to match the hatch. And you'll hear that your whole life in bass fishing. Are you matching the hat? Well, what can I do? Can I get more basic? Can I, can I slow down? Can I be more finesse? The first major thing you can do is match the hat anywhere you go. If you go into Clear Lake and uh, what are the big bass eating? They're eating big hits. Well, I want to match a big hit. Where are you going, uh, Gunnersville? What are they eating over there? Where the eels are spawning? Well, we're going to throw 10, 12 inch worms. What are you throwing at the Delta? Well, it's fall and they're eating crawdads because they're trying to fatten up for the wintertime. I'm going to throw a crawdad. These right here are good craw representations. Any plastic you're going to use, you know, uh, is going to work. Uh, whatever your favorite plastic is. And, and, and again, Try to match your plastics as well to these crawdad claws. Now, if you look at these claws, they're, they're red and brown and green. And then on the top side, it's almost a black neon with really brown and ambers. And then towards the bend of the arms, they get really brown and orange. So again, all of these colors, when you think about these skirts and you think about the colors of the flakes and the different colors in the bands of the skirts, it's all for a reason. Somebody has actually sat down and went through all this and thought of all this for you designed these colors for Skirts Plus, and then had them tied up and packaged so you could buy them. And that guy's me. So I spend a lot of time making sure that you have exactly what they eat on the places where I fish. And I've been to every place, so I got something for every angler. And I hope this little tip right here helps you catch more bass. Something's gotta give, two, something's gotta give, three, something's gotta give.